Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinkers Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and this video is another installment in the video FAQ series. Welcome to Layla Q, otherwise known as Layla Quantum Tech and Quantum Upgrade. This video in particular deals with the frequently asked question on how do I, you know, choose the right block for me? You know, because there's five different choices now. So if you made that decision that, you know, you want to bring that positive energy into your home, but which block would be the right one, then this is that video. So let's just jump right in. So now the five choices that I mentioned the, uh, for the different blocks that are now available, this is as of uh, January 2025, is the, in this order right here. I'll just kind of give you the picture right here is the quantum block. And that was the very first one that was ever sold. Uh, and then since then, they've kind of created a little tiny one called the travel block. And then this guy up here, which has got three plates on top and bottom, is called the infinity block. And then they came out with this big square one here called the grand block. And then most recently this month, in January, they released a new block called the Super Block. And so now you're looking at these five choices and you're wondering, well, you know, which one should I get? So, you know, it's a great question. So let's talk about what are the features. So if you understand what the features are, there are some blocks that have special features, which kind of comes into play in trying to make this decision. Uh, you know, at least from my opinion, right? So now the, the basic features for every block, all five of them, is that they all mitigate EMF. And when I say mitigate, if you look at the studies, uh, the, the effect of mitigation is on the biological, you know, organisms, pets, people, plants, that are in proximity to the block, okay? So the effect is on you your body and so there's all these uh, blood microscopy studies and bioenergetic studies and so forth that you can go and look at because they've got over 60 studies now but you can actually see the actual physical biological effect that's happening on your in your blood from exposure to you know basically emf you know wi-fi cell phones electric vehicles and then you could see what happens when you're in when you're near one of these blocks and how it completely just kind of erases the negative effects that show up plus actually return your blood to a, a more healthier state than you even started with so that's that that's what the emf mitigation concept is and it does that it's been proven with multiple studies so all five blocks will mitigate emf so if you're in the presence of one uh, in close proximity then definitely you're going to get the benefits of that emf uh, feature now the other feature that is available for for the five blocks it's not available for the quantum block is a feature called harmonize or harmony feature and what that basically means is when they after they made the first block and they started making other blocks the other blocks were stronger and stronger and stronger in terms of the level of energy and that level of energy would sometimes cause people to get a little anxious, nervous. It was just a lot of energy for people that just weren't used to quantum energy. So they developed a feature in all of future blocks since the quantum one where, they, where the energy would then harmonize. The block actually puts out an energy and this energy then harmonizes with your own biofield so that it doesn't make you jittery. And in other words, you entrain with that energy a lot better. It's a lot smoother. It's a lot easier on your biofield. And so that it just kind of keeps it from overwhelming people that are new to it. And that's what the harmony feature is. And the quantum block being the first one that was ever created doesn't have that feature. And it's not really that strong. It's, it's uh, in terms of its quantum energy strength. Uh, so it didn't, you know, it never had that feature and it still doesn't today. Now, the other thing that these blocks can do is they can charge other objects. They can charge people, plants, uh, pets, and they can charge locations. They can charge supplements. They can charge anything you put in them. And what I mean by charge is it can take that quantum energy because what all of the blocks essentially do is they basically concentrate quantum energy, otherwise known as life force energy, chi, prana, you know, whatever you want to call it, the aether, but it can take that energy that we all know exists, right? And it can concentrate it like, and, and the way that uh, the owner uh, kind of describes it, he calls it like a consciousness sun. And so it's this, this conscious energy that's concentrated in between those plates and then it also can then amplify because it concentrates, then it just really draws in that energy. And then, then that energy then can then broadcast outwards. And so what these blocks do is they concentrate it. So if you put anything between the plates, that whatever you put in between the plates is going to pick up that energy. It's going to increase its quantum energy of the object, person, people, whatever, right? Whatever you put in there. 
And then at the same time, because it's so concentrated, it broadcasts that energy out into its field. It has its own energy field. So it can charge stuff by putting stuff between the plates. The other thing it can do is it can copy frequencies. And this is by far the most incredible feature uh, that these blocks do is that they can copy a frequency of anything from one thing to another. So the idea here is if you put, let's say, uh, you know, let's say your favorite supplement, you put your favorite supplement um, in, in, the, in a block and then you put a glass of water in the block with the supplement, the copy of the frequencies of that supplement will then imprint onto the water. And then when you drink the water, you're getting the frequency of those supplements in the water as you drink it. And so that's the idea. It can actually, you know, literally copy a frequency from one thing to another. And that's way cool. And there's a whole bunch of tutorials all about that and a whole bunch of other stuff if you want to learn more about copying frequencies. And the last thing is that there are some special features, as I mentioned before, and that there's three of them that have special features. The three special features are, now again, I just want to go backwards here and reiterate, all of them will emit quantum energy. All of them will be able to mitigate EMF. Four of them will be able to harmonize with your own biofield. They'll all be able to, you know, copy, uh, you know, frequencies back and forth and charge stuff. But these three other blocks, the quantum block specifically, its special feature is that it cannot overcharge. And I, and I did a whole video on overcharging and the copy effect. But the whole idea is that there's a certain amount of time that you want to put stuff in the blocks. And if you put it in there too long, it picks up too much energy so that it has the potential of, of copying its frequency onto other things. So, uh, you, so having a quantum block that does not overcharge, that cannot overcharge because its energy level is low, uh, is really good for, for uh, I'll get into why that's a really good feature. And then the other feature uh, that's a really unique one, and this is by far the most amazing feature, is that the infinity block was specifically designed to be able to upgrade itself. And, but you need two of them. So that's why they sell the infinity block as an infinity block, or you can get the quote package. If you get the package, you get two of these things. And what you can do is you can put one in the other and then charge them. And you can go back and forth and back and forth. And you can literally upgrade the energy level of these blocks to quote infinity because there's no ceiling on, on how much, how strong these things can get. So if you're someone that is really adamant about you know raising your own personal vibration if you know what that means uh, and you want to take it to where you know infinity and beyond uh, then the infinity block is something to consider because it is it is the only block that is designed to be upgraded to infinity and then lastly the newest block is called the super block and this one is very unique as well uh, it has two really unique features uh, that are different, uh, you know, that are special on top of the other, the, you know, the standard features. And that is, is that the super block is, is by far the most powerful healer block. Uh, it's just the, the way that its energy is uh, emitted, the way that, you know, it's just its energy signature, I guess is the best way to say it, uh, is that of a healer. And so if you're, if you're into uh, if you're an energy worker, if you're a healer, if you're into Reiki and all these other different practices, whether it's Chinese, Ayurvedic, whatever, then this block is something you really might want. If, if your thing is helping people and, you know, pets, uh, then this block is really kind of designed for that, the whole idea of quantum healing. Okay, and then the other thing that this bo block is, is special about is it actually will emit the, you know, impart the frequency of deut deuterium depleted water into whatever water source there is so it could you know if you want to like let's say if you're into imprinting water as i described earlier um then if you just put water in this block it's going to pick up the the frequency of deuterium depleted water if you put yourself in there then the water in your body will become uh will will actually pick up that energetic signature of deuterium depleted water it's not a physical thing it's an energetic thing but it really works at that level uh in terms of trying to lower um the i guess the overall you know energetic footprint of deuterium in your body by you know charging yourself in this block you could lower that but you can you know if you want to just start drinking uh, deuterium depleted water from an energetic standpoint than putting water in this block is advantageous okay so that's kind of the idea but again it's 
all done on an energetic level. It's not done on a molecular or, or not done in, in a 3D kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know particle-based type of uh, process. It's all done from an energetic standpoint uh, and can be measured bioenergetically, okay? So that's the three special features of the, of the, you know, of the five blocks. So when you're trying to decide, which one do I want? Then here are, you know, here are some things that you should consider. And one is right off the bat is the energy level. Now, a lot of people gravitate towards, I want to get the most powerful one, you know, and that's great. Uh, you know, but here I want to caution people with is if you're new to this, that might not be, you know, you're jumping into the deep end of the quantum pool uh, and it may be a little overwhelming. Even with the harmony feature, it could be overwhelming. I bought, I, well, I didn't buy one, I won one. Uh, in a contest and I got it and it was overwhelming me and I've been around blocks for four years. So, you know, it, it is really, really strong in terms of just energy. Uh, and so, you know, so, but, you know, but if that's your thing, right? So, you know, but from low to high, the quantum is the lowest on the energy scale, then travel grand and infinity and then super block. So, you know, a lot of people kind of gravitate towards, they want the biggest, biggest TV <laughs> and then they want the strongest block. But I just want to caveat again, and this is something that goes back to the beginning of when we started this, which was the idea that frequency trumps energy. And, and I want to really kind of, what do I mean by that is that when it comes to us being energy beings um, and, and being, you know, just basically beings of consciousness, it's frequency trumps energy. So you can have frequency with the lowest energy block and you can have frequency with the highest energy block and it's still just the frequency and the frequencies and all these different things that frequencies can do are magic essentially and so as you know when you've got when you're working with with frequencies it doesn't matter how strong the block is okay and that's kind of what i want to point out so strength you know more strength is not necessarily you know more is not necessarily better is what i'm trying to convey now the other consideration that you know hey if this is your thing if you've got a special nook in, in your house you, you want to put a uh, you know basically it's an art piece i mean when you look at these things they're they're beautiful and so if you want to place this you have a little spot in your in your house or on a kitchen counter or in your truck or car and you just want to you know hey this is kind of war you know then you might want to be considering size and so size is actually a really important thing because the idea here is that the travel block was literally designed to be travel like you know to carry around with you it's so tiny it's only five inches tall and four inches square right and then the quantum block is eight inches square infinity block is eight inches square but nine inches high the super block is 15 inches square right and then the uh, i'm sorry that's yeah, 14 inches and then the grand is 15. and so these things the the latter two here are huge and they're really designed to put big things into and so they're so like you know for example when i take a look at like you know if i wanted to uh, buy a block and, and I had a specific purpose for it, then having, you know, knowing what size it is, is kind of as equally important as what strength it is. But again, you know, like I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the side of where, you know, strength more isn't better in my opinion. Uh, but you know, that doesn't mean you guys can't go for more strength, but size is really important as well. Cause you know, you might not have enough kitchen counter space or whatever. So think about size, but that's the idea here is that you've got small to large on your choices of different blocks. They all do the same thing. Thing. three of them do some special stuff uh, and size is important as well as you know strength but there you go but lastly I do want to kind of this is so I want to give you my recommendation and so this is some more things to think about so think about how strong you want it and if you're if you're new to this you may not want to jump into the deep end of the quantum pool and kind of start out low uh, like maybe with a travel block uh, if you're if you know but if you want to just go for it then you know you can go for it if you want to really go for it uh, if you want to go for it, that's the, going to be the super block. If you want to really, really go for it, that would be the infinity block because that thing can get in, upgraded to infinity, right? And that sort of thing. And then when you think about size, well, travel was designed to carry around with you, specifically designed for easy traveling. Put it in your car, right? Uh, and then, you know, again, the other thing about size is that the grand block is perfect for kitchens and restaurants because you can charge big stuff. You can put a whole plate in there because if you, if anyone, you know, who has an infinity block or a quantum block, they're only eight inches. Most plates are nine or 10 inches, right? So you can't just stick a plate in there easily, uh, you know, and so, or your groceries, you know, and, but you know, a grand block or a super block is 
perfect for that. You know, because like what I do is as I get groceries, I just stick them all in the grand block before I put them away. It's so easy to charge my food. Uh, and so that, you know, so that's one concept is, you know, that applies to size. But my recommendation here is if you are looking for a block, specifically because you're really into imprinting, you are a healer or a tinker, and you want to kind of mix around with different frequencies that you can create uh, and customize and so forth, then Quantum Block is the block. Uh, if you want to dabble in copying frequencies and having a frequency library, and you have, let's say, a smaller space, like let's say you just, you know, you rent a, a room and a home, or, you know, or, you know, like a home share, or you have a small condo, whatever, you know, or even living in a van, you know, the van life people. Well, Quantum Block is perfect for that. And so is the Travel Block because it's small. It's great for small spaces and it's perfect for that. So Quantum has got the, it's got the plus of, of being small, not as small as the Travel Block, but it's good for small spaces. The Travel Block is definitely perfect for small things, uh, you know, for little, little tiny areas. And then, you know, you can kind of carry it to the restaurant and charge charge things with, uh, with your Travel Block uh, right there at the table. But the thing again about the grand block that I kind of wanted to point out again is it's great for kitchens. I, I use mine in my kitchen all the time. Now my infinity block, now if again, you know, that's for the people that are, that's for you tinkers out there and you want to see how far this can go and what you can do with it. And the infinity block is for you. Uh, you definitely want to go. Just keep in mind that it's only nine inches tall and eight inches square, if, you know, for charging stuff, but it's great for quantum healing. And again, it's great for let's, you know, raising your vibration, you know, to lift up your consciousness, uh, you know, then the infinity block by far is going to be the one. Uh, and then lastly, this brand new block, the super block is its character is healing. And so it's, it's really special in that regard. Um, you know, and so the idea thing is that it's got the best of both worlds. It's great for healing. And it's great for charging big stuff. And so, uh, you know, so it's really, if, if that's going to be your deciding decision point, then that is definitely a great option uh, is getting this super block because it can do both. Uh, but you got to re remember one thing, though, that the strength of the super block is fixed. All right. The infinity block can be upgraded beyond the strength of the super. So it all depends on, you know, your dedication to upgrading and that sort of thing. Uh, but so that's why Infinity Block kind of trumps the super one when it comes to strength. But right now, if you just wanted to buy a strong block that's big and that's great with healing, then that would be the super one. So I hope this was helpful to give you some things to think about in terms of like, you know, we got when you want to buy a block, the first thing you should think of is what do I want to do with it? What do I want to get out of it? Right? So you know that you can get these very, you know, the core features, you know, that's why you're here. That's why you're watching this video. It's like, yeah, I, I want EMF. I, I want to be able to, you know, harmonize my environment. I want to, I want that energy. I want to boost my energy level. And then the other considerations obviously are going to be, well, how strong do you want this thing to be? And then how big is it going to be? And then, you know, what could you do with it? Uh, and those are the things to think about. And if you got any questions at all, come on down to our Telegram chat group and ask away. There's tons of other people that have owned these things for years, just like me. And, you know, we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. But that's the things to think about. And I wish you well. Thank you for watching the video. Vielen Dank to our German friends. I hope this was helpful and got you thinking. And other than that, hey, have a great day. Oh, and, you know, if you want to keep in, on, in touch or on top of the Layla news and information, you know, you might want to subscribe uh, to my to my channel because uh, this is where I post all of updates on Layla Q, uh, news, product information, product releases, uh, you know, science studies that get uh, published, uh, you name it. And so this is where you're going to find all that information uh, if Layla Q is something. And you should definitely go and, and, and also subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. All right. So there you go. Hey, have a great day. Aloha.